It says it's winter time. I'm packing my cheeks with stuff to stuff in the hole with me so I got lots to eat. See, there's another one. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? He's so cute. Come on, buddy. There you go. Now what'd you find? Jam that in too. See right now they're getting the um, uh, maple tree key seed thingies, seed pod thingies and they're eating them. See they just grab another one. They'll chew the end off and then throw the, the fleefy part away. What are you doing? How are your feet not freezing cold? It's cold out here today, buddy. Oh, found one. Yep, stuffing them full. I'll show you what's inside one of these. Okay, so that thing there is what he's tearing apart and he's chewing off the flighty bit. And inside of this thing, if I can get this open, there's like a little maple tree seedy thing if you can see her. Let's take her up to the truck here maybe. All right, so that is the seed of a maple tree and uh, that's what they're taking and I think he's just chewing off a little leafy part of the thing and then taking the whole thing and maybe he's splitting it too I don't know pretty cool but I just seen him he went under this uh, piece of slab wood here so he must have a little hole or something down there just behind that pipe that comes out of the, uh, the old eaves trough there all right well first things first today I got to juice up the tractor do some more leaf chewing maybe So uh, I gotta figure something out here. Uh, this thing's drawing so much juice, I guess. You know, it, um, it's not a huge cable here, really, but uh, this is actually getting warm here already. I guess you can see it smoking. <laughs> it's not really too good. So I don't know if it's a problem between the cable and uh, the uh, the clamp or whatever. Maybe it's just not got a really good contact there. But I got some bigger clamp dewies. So, uh, I guess it's getting a lot of resistance maybe there. I don't really know a whole lot about that side of her, but uh, I imagine that's what it's doing. And uh, now this thing would be pretty gooey and pliable here. They get hot too, so she's, she's getting a bit of resistance there, I think, boys. So let's maybe peel this back. Sucking a lot of juice, and I guess it's funny because the cable down here is fine but I guess right up here where she's she's going from the clamp to the cable I basically just kind of squashed the thing in there right where really she should be soldered in I guess now I got some other clamps bigger clamps they're inside I do believe but uh, we'll do that in our day there we're not gonna do that right now we got some welding to do and stuff so let's uh, Welding going. Holy cow, I guess that thing isn't heavy up up there enough to make the deweys go down. Usually they're down to the ground with the bucket on. I guess it's a lot heavier, but that's interesting. Imagine when I put uh, put these deweys in the big bar on, she'll be down by morning. <laughs> I imagine she'll be down by morning, boys. So, this thing, I guess, should probably have a bit of paint on them, too. I'll maybe wait until the sun sort of gets around here a bit more and kind of dries things up a wee a little bit for us. Um, after, of course, we get the bar and stuff on. And, you know, she should be painted. And, uh, because this is a spot here where it's not going to, you know, like a bucket where it's not going to get scrubbed all off and everything, right? So, it'd be nice to have a little bit of paint on them things there. But, uh, uh, door open. Door. Door. Uh, so, 
some of you noticed last night were saying to uh, make like pinholes and stuff you could drop a pin down inside of there and keep the things from sliding around but I'm honestly going to try her without really anything first and then uh, if it really ticks me off enough I'm going to get roughly uh, you know a width for these things and I think I'm just going to weld them solid onto the bar because once you start putting deweys and stuff through here and then into the bars and stuff it's going to be even harder to uh, be able to slide those things so probably just lock them solid I, I couldn't I really I don't know I'd really like to have it maneuverable but uh, if it's going to be a nuisance I'm afraid she's going to have to be solid so but we'll try her before before we do that but um, anyways uh, what I want to do first is this one I want to just get my hogging out Dewey and hog out the the hole a bit more in this thing and uh, make her a little bit bigger so uh, you gotta be able to slide a little bit, little bit easier, you know. Uh, it's pretty darn tight right now. You gotta be pretty, pretty darn precise. And as you can see by these holes, they're not uh, too darn precise. So, <laughs> oh yeah, and it's cold out today. <sighs> windy, or not windy? Oh my goodness, coffee's not here yet. I do apologize. But anyways, um, I do have my right Dewey for the tripod today. So let's get you up on the tripod here. And. Pod. Somewhere there is a tripod. Oh, I didn't bring the right Dewey for this tripod. Oh, for corn flakes! What the heck? Ugh. Okay, might have to go up and get the right Dewey because this is going to be really kind of annoying. But anyways, that's what we will do. All right. So basically, what we're wanting to do is sort of hog out these holes a little bit so there's a little bit more play in them. And uh, I'm going to use my burr tool, this feller. So. We just don't need to take too much out. Just enough. It's just a bit tight, right? So I'm going to loosen her up a bit.
got a kind of lever on too, right? Okay, we're really good now. I got the uh, drill going with a little wire brush, so we got lots of, lots of room now. That should be good. And uh, the wire brush I'm speaking of, I'll show you that when I do the other one here. That's uh, basically a two inch wire brush. And uh, just goes on your drill and in and out, polishes are up real nice. And uh, yeah, that should work pretty good. So, now we can kind of get stuff somewhat sort of lined up here. I gotta get the other fork out yet, of course. One of these fellers here, I think it was this one, I can't remember, but I'll get her out. We'll get stuff sort of lined up here. All right, so basically really all this does is kind of polish this thing up here a bit. Put her in and then I go kind of both ways too, right? side too because it doesn't get all the way in. Pretty close but not quite. ready to get some assembly going here and uh, probably this is not gonna be fun <laughs> all right so wish us luck uh... <laughs>
think whoop, we are on. So what I'm going to do is lift up. And I think so far we're pretty good. So I'm going to get the welder now and do some spot welding. Might as well take you guys for along with the ride. Welding's always cool. I know it's kind of boring and stiff, but uh, hey, that's a big part of it, right? Where would we be today without welders? I don't know. All right, here we go. I'm just going to spot weld her first and get her somewhat solid. I don't actually want to kind of take it off somehow or whatever and then uh, flip her on her side so I can weld like it's so it's flat. So uh, that's the idea anyways. Okay, a couple more I think. Give me a fair bit of weight here. I have to hold up with really hardly any welds on her, so. Alrighty, now. What I want to do is take her off, and this is going to be a bit of backhoe, uh, sorry for the close-ups of my, you know, ugly mug and stuff. Uh, this would be a maneuverable thingy with the, uh, the backhoe and a couple of straps, I guess, to get her tried, kind of up on its side, right? This is the idea. So, let's get her down and get her off. Hopefully this works all right. I haven't tried her yet. Oh my
tank. Lifesaver. That should get us enough to uh, get a bit more weld on her. Let's have a look, see, make sure you guys are still seeing what I'm seeing, and hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. Get you a bit closer here, maybe. Eh. That's not too bad. Okay, we're going to weld this side up here. Not bang right on where I wanted her, but, uh, you know, that's not, that's not too bad. Uh, seems fairly solid there, but I might just hook on something somewhere just to, in case, because you never know when you're welding, right? So, anyways, we'll leave her uncut. Let's get at her. to be the structural welding here so this is going to have to be really good really good oh, I'm getting on there that work and uh, here we go And I'm like, what the heck? side ones get them all real good and a matter of fact I might lift this up again Exactly where I want it, but it's gonna have to do, I guess.
compared to what other needles you have in water, so.
doing a bit of a shot there. Too bad. That's our last one match, eh? I won. See if we can wrestle her back to the ground where she's supposed to be. And uh, hook her back up again.
All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and try this sucker now, and uh, we're gonna have to move this little trailer first. So, you know, because I want to get into these uh, big woods here, right? So, let's move the trailer. Well, how was that for moving trailer? Kind of wrecked them a bit, but the only thing I really want to keep off of that thing is probably the tires, and then there's a, a good hitch on the front right there, but uh, we didn't hurt that. But the tongue's hurting, piece of freaking junk. Anyway, so there's another log on here I want to try to skin under there and pick up too. You can sort of see the cedar log there, so we're going to try that here. I dug in pretty good, eh? That was pretty darn near full fork depth dug, dug right into the ground there. Holy. Hey. I'll have to check for bandages later and stuff, but uh, uh, hopefully they're holding on. Anyways, uh, I want to get this log kind of spinned. You can see this uh, hole here. I actually, there was a bee's nest in there at one time when this was actually a tree. And uh, I just sprayed her full of spray foam, never seen a bee again. So uh, what I want to do is try to get it turned and see if I can jab one of the forks right in there. See how far in it goes. So. We need to try to turn it to get that in around this way.
Okay, first let's try to stab her, then I'll pull the camera back out and then uh, see if we can pick her up. be a lot of weight hanging out there on one dewey and I'll tell you if that was gonna bend anything I would probably do it right there well, I don't want to get too close but uh, I think we're pretty good I don't know oh, pardon me how much that would weigh but there's a lot of weight there I can tell you that much <laughs> and got trees growing back out of her well that mess eh holy but anyways uh, I guess we'll put her back down and uh, Jeez, I think we're looking good. Might have a hair bit of a bend there, but uh, I don't know. We got them. Well, they've sort of moved a bit though, actually. Look at that. I had them placed pretty much in line with these. That one's moved a lot over there, but you know, we were kind of beating them up a bit, so. But anyways, uh, let's put her back down, see if we can get the fork back out. Boys, I don't, I don't know about. If I did her right, I might get two of those pieces on there, but I don't know. I don't know. She's, she's pretty tight. It takes up a lot of room, eh? Not a whole lot left back there, and you kind of got to have something pushing against it to keep it on while you curl her back, you know? Well, I'll give her a try here, but I kind of got my doubts. on the screen there we got it we got it up but I just don't have enough to uh, to lift her this thing's only rated for a front tire actually Woo, mama it's a lot of weight up there we got her just barely off the ground so that is over 4,000 pounds because I think this thing is rated to lift 4,000 pounds to the pivot point 
which I do believe is the arms up level with these two pivot things here. So that's over 4,000 pounds and each one is probably probably 2,500 in that one anyways, you know. It's all wet too, eh? So that adds a huge amount to it, but hey, we tried. What, did, what can you do? Well, we are actually, oh, it was moving it and got caught there, but oh, there we go. That's a bit lighter. That's a little more better. Surprisingly, I'll have to straighten this feller up a bit. Yeah, it's working pretty good too with my level indicator there. When those two lines line up, it means that she's level when she's right flat. like a freaking pop can, eh? Oh, kind of wrecked my tire, maybe. <laughs> oh, no! Didn't really want to do that. Oh, the rim's screwed, too, now. Oh, well. We'll just take him in for scrap, I guess. Poor old thing. Got one good tire, I guess. And uh, the hitch is still good. So that's good, but that was fun. Shows you how much weight those things are, eh? Man, imagine that falling on you. Ooh, mama. But anyways, uh, we're going to see if we can reline the Deweys here. They've kind of moved themselves, I guess. So let's uh, see what's going to happen. All right, so... Technically, this one has got to come this way here. Uh oh. I think we're good. Ooh. Still tricky, hard, but you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Give it a kick here, maybe. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think that'll work good. Now, what to do about that bar? Keep her from rusting. Well, I think I'm just going to go at her with some fluid film for right now. This stuff's oily, greasy, and gooey. Yeah, that's what I sprayed on my plow blades there, actually, and they're still good. I uh, haven't rusted at all, but uh, this stuff's a little more easily wipe offable than the uh, full-on grease, right? So, we'll just layer a bunch of this on, and it'll actually sort of harden itself on a bit too, right? And uh, stay kind of gummy. Of course, we're going to need to probably do it every once in a while, but... Maybe actually these things rusted on in one spot, it wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I was gonna paint these things too, I guess not now. Got oil all over them. Oh, that's gonna be a tricky one, boys. I don't know. <laughs> we can do is just sprayer and prayer I guess. Lots on. 
we're all juicy around and uh, this stuff I'd rather have than well you know what there we did spray painter <laughs> there we go spray lube just don't step on her now That's not too bad, I guess. I wouldn't mind sliding these back and forth a bit, but man, oh man. Heck with it. Not, not worth blowing my uh, back out for that. This stuff will, this stuff will work. It'll soak in and stiff. Good. We are lubied. Luby lubied. Well, I guess that's gonna be here for today. I just went and chopped a whole bunch more of that tree down I apologize guess I can't take it back there, but uh, got her got most of her chopped and then uh, Actually, it's not the same tree I was working on the other day, but uh, <clears throat> It's the other one I was looking at but uh, we got her some of the as much as I could reach with my, my pole saw attachment and uh, Chewed her up in the chipper and man. I'm freaking tired now. <laughs> I wore out I Ain't used to working I guess. I don't know but uh Anyways, uh, there's just one back here that was uh, a bit too big for my pole saw to cut and uh, a little bit uh, too big of course for the chipper so we're just going to take the uh, machine back here and uh, grab it and bring it up I guess so here we go. I'll take you for that maybe. Holy jumping out, I don't know what was going on back there. There wasn't that many people back there but there was enough back there I could have filmed a zombie movie. I couldn't believe it. But anyways, uh, I couldn't film that. There's a lady like parked like right there. Anyways, there's the log. Loverly. This Loverly. And uh, I guess we're sort of done with this today, so we'll just park it here maybe. Lovely. Anyways, I'm going to call her a day. I've had enough. I'm going home. And, uh,. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what we're gonna do. Might take her easy. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get working on this installation on the truck, but uh, oh, I've got more leaves to do, so I don't know when we're gonna get onto the truck thing. But uh, I also got a bridge I want to build and <laughs> lots to do, and not enough time. I got to get wood yet for the bridge, so that's sort of why I've been kind of not working on that too, 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 too much. But uh, oh man, horrible light. There we go. But uh, we'll get on to that one of these days here. I gotta get my leaves done up, oh, you know, mostly first. There's still lots to come down yet, though. But, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, I'm heading home. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching today. It's probably a long one, I know. I apologize, but uh, Weldon's fine, you know, and, uh, and uh, we got her good to go. So, anyways, I'm happy. Seems to work good. Couldn't, I don't think, load her much more than I did there, and everything seemed to stay where we put her. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. Have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk at you hopefully tomorrow.